the whole way along, uh, I have said that tests should be available uh, for people uh, who need them and who want them, and that income shouldn't be a, a criteria uh, for that. And so that what we no have stage. now is a plan to be able to provide these free tests for people who do need them and where income is not a problem and, you know, low-income groups, vulnerable groups, groups from the within uh, the disability community as well, pensioners as well, anyone with a concessional card will be able to get free tests. Are you satisfied with that no. plan? I'm absolutely not satisfied with that plan and nor is the Australian Medical Association, uh, nor are the people I speak to in the community. Given there's a whole that lot there's of such a crunch in terms of supply, you would want to provide tests for all of Australia, given that there's such a shortage of well, supply? The government says itself that they reckon that they've fixed supply right. and it's not clear I, I, from I government come back, advice I want to come what back they should to the do issue if they of, test positive at home. Uh, I would just want to come back to the issue of supply. Now, you are calling for the Prime Minister to fix this supply issue. He did say for the next fortnight or Correct. so there will be a bit of a crunch. However, we have been assured that the supplies will be coming within the next fortnight. Now, I just want to take you back to July of last year when we were all talking about the pandemic roadmap and Labor got on board and joined the chorus to get the nation vaccinated. There was a huge call from yourself, from the Labor Party we, we as well, get, we didn't to get, get the nation with, with respect, vaccinated. With respect, but Labor respect, did not stress respect, the need well, to ensure that there is a supply or adequate supply for rapid antigen tests after the pandemic or following the nation having been uh, mostly vaccinated. Labor did not call for that either. With respect, that is complete nonsense. People weren't talking about rapid antigen tests at the beginning of last year. 